Hi guys, sorry for the late video. I was very busy because I was actually preparing a cosplay for a convention. That in itself is a huge topic and I will release more videos on that topic soon. But here are my final thoughts on the Freckled Zelda situation. So if you've been following me on Twitter or whatever, you might have always seen it. I'm not going to continue involving myself in a situation that's just a girl throwing stuff at Zelda and trying to figure out what sticks. This situation starts to seem more and more like a bad faith friend group. I have reached out to Zelda multiple times and asked her how she'd like me to deal with the situation, but have been ignored, which is okay, she doesn't owe me an answer. However, she has left a comment on the original video asking me to take it down, which I have now. I don't know what to do with the second one though, and maybe I'm going to enlist it, but I'm not really sure. There is something that I have to apologize for. I didn't really look into the Instagram account of the ex. I tried finding them before making the follow-up video and checking their pronouns, but they had changed their name, making it very hard for me to find. But in the future, I should have done it better, and I will try to do it better. Somewhere after my first video, I got an email alleging that Freckled Zelda was still sending things to minors or had done so in the past. Of course, I immediately asked for screenshots because those are very serious accusations. What I got were the same pictures we have already seen in Maddie's videos. However, one was different. A weird screenshot from this picture of Legend of Zelda links in like suggestive outfits holding... Um, Come. <laughs> I tried finding the picture, the original artist is called Katama K. However, they have since deleted the image from everywhere, so it's not even completely proven that they did draw it. Although comparing it to other pieces of the art, their art styles do match. And you can also make out the vague watermark of them in the corner. Uh, I think it speaks volumes that even the artist deleted their work, but even if, the screenshot lacks any kind of context or other information. Like, it says something about the person that was sent this picture being a minor, but there was literally no other proof, so I left it out of the video. And if the screenshot is supposed to make anyone look bad, it should be the artist, as some of the links are underage. But even in this case, we don't know if maybe these are aged up. If you want to send me proof of anything, then do it, I guess, but I'm probably not going to make another video. So, the question is, what now? This is a true case of just people falling out and trying to cancel each other as best as they can. In this entire situation, I wanted nothing but the truth to come out. And Maddie did show proof, so of course a lot of people were like, that's true. And as I've already said, I did not expect this video to blow up as much as it did. I was extremely overwhelmed when it got 1000 views and now it's at at like 26,000 when I deleted it. Um, I'm sorry for anyone I, I've harmed in the video, of course I've already said I've reached over to Freckled Zelda on like YouTube comments, Instagram and also email and I've yet to receive an answer, but that's okay. If you subscribed to my channel I hope it was because of my personality and not just because of this drama. If you did just subscribe because of the drama, maybe stick around and see what else I can do. Or maybe not. Um, I don't really want this to be like entirely drama focused. I also want to post like more myself, everything, vlogs. I just wanted to document this drama because I thought it was a very important topic because Fackle said it was such a huge person. Right now, I just believe that this was a bad situation. Uh, I'm still, of course, I still think that faculty are like preaching her gospel everywhere and like the entire Butch Hartman thing is still not that good, but it's nothing cancel worthy or anything. And you don't have to 100% like a person. Like, a person can still have different opinions. And I think that's the case with faculty Zelda. She has different opinions and so people kind of tried taking her down because of that. And of course, because those were her old friends, which seemingly also had something with her ex. I am also very happy that Freckled Zelda has 
um, kind of followed my advice on my follow-up video, she did leave a comment being like, I don't really care if Maddie releases the entire video. And now in Freckled Zelda's latest video, Dressing to Drama, she actually showed like videos of the chat logs, which I think is amazing because it gives the much needed context to what was happening. And it also helps disprove her. So go off. So yeah, that's all. I pretty much changed my opinion and I'm now going to stay out of this drama, I guess. Because it's not really something that the public should have known about. It seems like this should have been handled in private. Bye bye, hope you like my next videos, which are not going to be about the drama.